Welcome back. Hang out with me in this week's vlog. I'm just leaving the gym right now. I took it super duper easy this morning at the gym. I just did like a little bit of core, a little bit of arms, and really just sort of like warmed up my legs. Today we're gonna go to Venice Beach. We're gonna go to Venice and Santa Monica and walk the pier and the boardwalk and just generally explore. So we're gonna do a ton of walking today. So I didn't wanna like take it too hard, but I just wanted to like feel warmed up and ready and I didn't wanna skip the gym for today. So with all that said, let me go home and put myself together a little bit and let's head to Venice Beach. We stopped by a place called Paradise Buffet to eat. There's not a ton of vegan options. There's a whole lot of vegetarian ones. So potatoes and veggies it is today. I'm not complaining. watching the skaters here. This is the only free rink I know of, so by default, it's my absolute favorite. And frankly, being here today watching these guys has absolutely confirmed it. Tomorrow, I return to roller skating. It's been several months since I even had a skate on my foot, and I very suddenly regret that deeply. Roller skate vlogs definitely coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell if you wanna see stuff like that. As for the rest of today, let's take a little walk up the boardwalk. Probably uh, head over to the Santa Monica Pier. first thing in the mornings it really is how I prefer to start my days 
I said yesterday that today was going to be the day that I started roller skating again. And I meant it. I'll do the return to roller skating as a whole uh, separate vlog. We're going to do like a week of skating and all that. So don't forget to hit the little subscription button and hit the little notification bell if you want to see that. left I must go inside and cool off I'm so hot and sweaty after an hour of Zumba I'm now what like probably a good 30 minutes of this it's getting hot out here too hey my little man do you having a nice sun bath yeah you having a nice little bath in the shine you look like you're awfully comfy little mans we're gonna plant some sunflower microgreens today. I absolutely love these things. I'm gonna do it in this old takeout container that I have. I just cut the lid off and poked holes through the bottom of it. I'm gonna fill this with dirt. With that full of dirt, I'm just gonna go ahead and evenly sprinkle across the top a generous amount of these seeds. Ever so lightly. Do a layer of dirt around the top of them. And then I've got this water bottle that I poked holes into the cap of just so it's a little bit gentler of a stream. And I'm just gonna thoroughly saturate this water. Put enough water in there that the dirt is fully saturated and then there's also some water in the bottom. Every couple of days we're gonna come back because we just don't want this to go dry. I went ahead and brought this inside because when I was learning how to do this, I was watching videos of people who actually know what they're talking about and do this like professionally. And a couple of the tips that I picked up was that it's better in a darker, cooler place. And also I put this on top so that I can weigh this down a little bit because supposedly that makes for like thicker, stronger roots when they do start to grow. The fun thing about microgreens is that they, is that they are literally a seed to salad in six days. So I'll keep you updated with those and I'll show you those before this vlog ends. A super casual OOTD. Just throw on this black sport set because we're just going to go walk around the beach for the rest of the day. Put a little cover up over it. You know guys, I'm not sure about the bangs. When they're styled, I absolutely love them. But like 90% of the time they don't look good. We came to a spot called East Buffet to eat today. This place is actually even better than yesterday's as what far as like options for me. They have uh, miso soup that has so much tofu in it, which is always nice to have like a, a good protein source. Um, I just want to explain briefly so I don't confuse anybody. I do eat dairy occasionally if it's like a special occasion or like a vacation. For example, you'll see me eating dairy in the Vegas vlog series. But for like day to day, most typical occasions, I avoid meat and dairy altogether. This place is kind of close to Long Beach, so we're going to go for another little beach walk after this. We're kind of having a little bit of a splurgy couple of days here, but we just wanted to take advantage of my partner being off work for a couple days in a row before he like doesn't have a day off again in a very long time. The quality here is quite good. Everything is really tasty and pretty darn fresh for a buffet. They even have veggie sushi at this place. Most seafood places I go to don't have a veggie option. I'm a happy camper. I'm gonna stop by Saver, just do a little bit of thrifting. I'm in desperate need of a new purse, but I'm very specific about the exact black backpack purse that I'm looking for. Maybe some fly glasses? Not the black backpack I had in mind, but I certainly wouldn't mind this one, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Out of my budget, but pretty cool. I don't know if I'm specifically gonna find exactly what I'm looking for here today because I uh, like to thrift things. Sometimes it takes multiple visits to multiple stores for me to find the exact right thing. Uh, I might have just found the magical purse. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, of course. This is quite different, 
but I think I might actually like it better. It's a backpack, which is like 90% of the time I use my backpack, but it, look, you can disconnect it and make it a purse too. It could be a crossbody or just like a side bag. Well, I'm keeping this one closed. So this one might be my new purse. We'll see, we'll see. Wrong color. Wrong price, wrong color. <laughs> Yeah. Wrong size. Okay, that's just cute. Hmm, that one's super cute. I've made the mistake before of not getting a neutral though, and it doesn't match everything, and I hate that. So this has to be preferably black. Again, I might go with the gray though. Gray could work. There certainly is a lot of options. Okay, I was awfully hesitant. It wasn't what I was looking for at all, but I ended up getting it and I'm really glad that I did. It was actually half off at the restaurant. I have no idea why. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> that restaurant had a lot more options than I expected and therefore I ended up eating way more than expected. So let's go like walk this off a little bit. <laughs> Today has been quite busy and tiring, honestly, but nothing really vlog worthy. I went to the gym, did my little skate session, which was vlog worthy. And again, that's in another video coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that. Oiled my skates, stuff like that. Just like made appointments, made phone calls, boring. I am like starving though. We're halfway through the day. I need some food. While I'm in the kitchen, I'm going ahead and throwing together some sandwiches for my partner's lunch. And then I'm gonna get some dinner ready for him while I'm also making myself some lunch. Um, around this house, we find that sticking to more traditional gender roles works a lot better for us, so we tend to typically just stay in our own lives. As for my food, I've got these uh, like smart dogs in there that have been in there a bit too long. They definitely need to be eaten before they go, but I desperately want toboki. I don't want these. <laughs> so I was thinking, what if I make like a stuffed toboki? I've been making my own cheese toboki from rice paper lately, and I've been absolutely obsessed with it. So I'm gonna just throw these in the mix too and see how it works. I just took three sheets of rice paper, wet it, stuck it together, slapped the meat and cheese in there, and we're gonna just fold over the sides and try to roll her up as neat as possible with one hand. Sheesh, I didn't expect them to turn out so large. Those are some big boys. I just found a taboki sauce recipe online and the first time I tried to make it, I only had sriracha, I didn't have gochujang, so I used that. I should probably get some gochujang now that I make this a lot, but honestly, the sriracha works just fine. That looks delicious, y'all. 
<laughs> let me try this. I have a feeling it's going to be really good. Those, um, what are they, Light Life, I think, brand, smart, smart Dog, Hot Dog, whatever. Not my favorite. They definitely have to be, like, doused in chili and cheese or, like, I think maybe this application might work. But on their own, they're, like, not that best. Not the best hot dog. <laughs> These things are thick. I figured they would work in this application because of all the sauce and cheese. Mmm! That I can do. That's pretty darn good. Mmm! Mm. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to make this meal or anything. But given that I just had these things left over, they're not pretty good. Jesus Christ, my hair is frizzy. Oh. I'm watching videos and stuff right now, trying to figure out how to tame my bangs when they get as frizzy as they were in that last clip. Because I don't want to use any heat at all, I don't want to damage any more than necessary. Um, basically, the tip I found was to just brush through your hair every few minutes while it's air drying and then like use the oils from your hands to kind of smooth as you can see like it definitely helped but like i still don't love it i really only loved these bangs for as long as it took me to cut them and film this tiktok and pretty much the second that was done they started frustrating me <laughs> if you have any tips on how to uh how to keep them styled conveniently leave them below Good morning, I came to water the sunflower microgreens and we've got some growth starting here, just a little bit right there, a little bit right there, here, there's a little guy popping up over here. It occurred to me, these seeds are incredibly old and improperly stored, so we'll see how much success we have with them, but it looks like we're definitely getting, gonna get something. Got my bangs down this morning and my hair done actually. Today's like a bit of a content day, I'll be inside filming. There's some like transition, um, TikToks and etc. that I want to film, so I'm gonna end up doing hair and makeup and things like that. And I'm just filming, I'm just testing um, heatless overnight curls on myself. I love how it ended up looking and turning out. So we'll just see how well it holds. It's really easy. There's a video coming on that. It's really quick and easy for me. So we'll see like if it's worth, if it's worth it, if it holds for any amount of time at all. Because I love how it looks. And actually air drying my bangs and just combing them every few minutes is not that hard at all. They dry so quick that it just is, I don't mind that method at all, I don't think. So actually, now they don't bother me near as much. Like this is much better than how they looked yesterday. Jesus. Woo, they was looking crazy yesterday. Today, decent. <laughs> Just threw on a casual, cute outfit. I'm gonna go run some errands today. Honestly, you guys, look at my hair though. Like, you can try to tell me this doesn't look good. I will not listen to you, I don't care. I'm obsessed. Anyways, I'm gonna run out and do some errands. One of the things I'm gonna do is hit the craft store. I'm gonna be going to the Peach PRC show next week and I want to, I've been trying to figure out what to do with my hair. It's one of the reasons I was like testing this. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with, with pretty much this. But I need some bling and sparkle, right? So I'm gonna try to go to the craft store and get some sort of like, I don't know, like rhinestone strings or like beads or just something to sort of sparkle up the headband, right? Well, that was easier than expected. I found everything at the first Dollar Tree that I went to. This is gonna be fun. Well, the curl has all but fallen, but I got the headband done and I think it turned out so fun. Good morning. While I'm on the whole vibe of like getting my peach PRC outfit figured out, I'm going to go ahead and do the makeup look this morning, or at least practice it anyways. And I was just throwing my hair up, my bangs out of the way. <laughs> and it kind of reminded me of like high school. Were any of you around for that like bump bang phase where you would push that shit up as high as you could and then thin it? <laughs> eh, that just made me laugh. Anyways, we're going for, here's the inspiration. 
We're going for like obviously pink and silver glitter that matches the whole outfit, nails, everything. We're still a week out from this show, but my anxiety is the plan every meticulous detail weeks in advance kind of anxiety. So we're just gonna like uh, have come up with some sort of idea of what we're doing today. I might end up actually like really pressed for time on that day. I'm not too sure. I'm still trying to figure everything out. The show's in LA and um, basically I'm gonna have to check into my hotel the same day of the show and that might end up leaving some timing, like a time crunch. It kind of depends on how early people start lining up. That's the thing is I'm a little unsure because when I look at her like other shows, for example, in Australia, people be lining up like literally the night before, like hours, hours, hours early to be in line early, right? Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the same vibe here. I know the, the venue here is like kind of small and everything. And so I don't know <laughs> if people show up early, I gotta show up early, but if they don't, there's no point in me standing around. I'll tell, I gotta figure out, um, timing on the day is my point. So I want to just definitely have an idea of what I'm doing so that if I do end up in some sort of time crunch, I just, I, I'm more prepared and I don't feel as stressed out, right? Because this whole thing already stresses me out. That's why, <laughs> that's why my anxiety level is the way it is already. Is like, I'm just, I'm not, I don't really typically go to events like this by myself. Like I'm not a do things by myself kind of, kind of gal all that much. Um, I definitely can, and I'm going to here, but it's like, Ooh, definitely not preferred not the preferred method but like i would not miss this opportunity i'll have my hair down the day of but this is the vibe we're going for i think this is like simple enough that i can do it in a rush the day of if i need to but with everything all together it's gonna be just over the top sparkles hang on real quick i was just looking back at that, that last clip and that makeup looks ridiculous it's giving clown the way that the white goes all the way up in the middle hate it i'm not gonna do that i don't know why i thought that looked good now i don't i'll do the eyelid white and silver but all the rest behind that is gonna be pink we're, we're not dinner always tastes better cooked over an open flame so let's make some burgers and have a little bit of a campfire shall we Cheers. So I spent most of this morning working out in the yard. I'm trying to fence in an area, a small area within my yard. Basically my yard is really big and my dog's really small and that's not really meshing all that well. I wanna just have a little, a smaller area that I can easily contain them if I need to. So that's what I was working on today. I try to get out there early, early because it's like getting into summer for sure, getting into, into uh, hot temps in the afternoon. Um, so once it started getting too hot to work out there, I came inside and basically I've just been doing housework, did the laundry, the dishes, all of that kind of stuff. You get it. And so now I definitely need a break from all of that. Let's go play with the dog. Jimmy, what are you doing, baby? What you doing? What you doing? Get your bum. Okay. Want it? Hello? <laughs> Hello? You want this? Oh, if I throw it? Ready? <laughs> oh, you're tricking me. You're tricking me, huh? Ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I have thoroughly exhausted myself today. I went roller skating in the morning, which is going to be its own separate video. I also was building a fence for several hours this afternoon, which again is its own separate video. And then I had just a lot of housework and things to do around the house and I got everything accomplished and oh, that was honestly just all the energy I had for today. I don't think I vlogged very much today at all, but like that's just how it is. Some days are not very vlog worthy, right? I think I'm going to spend the rest of the evening. I'm, I keep looking over here because I've got this I've got like my face mask and a hair mask and stuff I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening having myself a little spa day do like all of the hygiene and pamper type things you know I'll do a little face mask and massage all the, the toner on my hair everything like my hair has gotten incredibly dry and frizzy just because of all of the sweat and like being out in the wind and everything so it desperately needs a hair mask so I'm going to do all that, but I honestly think I'm just going to take this time as like my own personal time and not film or do anything like that because I'm just honestly exhausted. Hey, it's not Tuesday. It's Sunday morning. I totally forgot about these. They took a while to sprout up. They took almost five or six days just to even sprout up, which is very unusual. They're usually ready in that amount of time. I think that, like I said, the seeds were just like old and improperly stored. So I better go ahead and do that last little batch of seeds that I have before they get too old. But uh, basically, I just forgot about these for several days. And now they're like overly ready to be harvested. But like a lot of them in the middle didn't grow up all the way. So I don't know. It was just like not as satisfying a grow this time. But either way, we're going to harvest. So I'm just removing some of these outer shells that didn't come off on their own. Again, these like didn't grow as well as usual. There's not hardly any left on here typically. But I'm just going to remove the ones that didn't open up by themselves. Give these a good rinse and there you go. Thanks so much for joining me this week. If you liked that video, don't forget to hit the little thumbs up down below. Subscribe while you're hanging out down there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.